Take a second now to look at the following five matrices and determine if they are in row echelon form. Please pause if you need to because we are hopping right into classifying them. First, let's focus on our first condition again. All four zero rows must be at the bottom of the matrix. These three matrices have rows of all zeros. Are any of these rows not at the bottom of the matrix? Well, the matrix in the top right corner has a full zero row above a non-zero row, and so it is not in row echelon form. All of our remaining matrices satisfy the first condition, so let's move on to the second condition. Now we look to see if our pivots or non-zero leading entries are to the right of all pivots or non-zero leading entries above them. In the top left matrix, our 5 is to the right of 1, our 9 is to the right of 1 and 5, and so this first matrix satisfies both conditions and is in row echelon form. In the middle matrix, our 6 is to the right of 5. This matrix satisfies both conditions and is in row echelon form. In the bottom left matrix, the 8 is to the right of 7, and the 3 is to the right of 7 and 8 above it. This matrix satisfies both conditions and so is in row echelon form. Finishing up with the matrix in the bottom right hand side, our 6 is to the right of 7, the 3 is to the right of 6 and 7, but what about this 9 in the bottom row? It is not to the right of any of the leading entries from the rows above it. This matrix fails the second condition and so this matrix is not in row echelon form.